The fundamental principles behind GPS are really quite simple. Firstly, to find out where you are, the system uses triangulation. To triangulate, a GPS receiver measures the distance to a satellite by timing how long it takes a radio signal to reach it. This can be easily measured because radio waves travel at the speed of light. The receiver simply calculates distance measurements to four different satellites to determine its location. Actually, only three measurements are needed to give a three-dimensional position, however an extra satellite measurement is used to overcome any timing offsets in the receiver. This is because the receiver doesn't use an expensive yet incredibly precise atomic clock, like the satellite does, to get perfect timing. To use the satellites as references for distance measurements, we also need to know exactly where they are. Very stable and precise satellite orbits almost 20,000 kilometers above the Earth, as well as careful monitoring, ensure the integrity of the system's accuracy. Finally, you must correct for any possible slight inaccuracies. One of the biggest culprits is the Earth's atmosphere, which can minutely delay GPS signals as they move through it. Signals can also bounce off local obstructions such as tall buildings before it gets to the receiver. Basic geometry itself can introduce error, as the closer the satellites are together, the worse the measurement. Fortunately, a form of GPS called differential GPS significantly reduces most of these errors. Good GPS receivers can even overcome some themselves using sophisticated processing techniques. Differential GPS can yield measurements good to 2 to 5 meters and even decimeter depending on the GPS receiver and data collection techniques used. And advanced techniques such as dual frequency signal processing can achieve even higher accuracy from centimeters to even millimeters. Differential GPS requires two receivers, one that's stationary on a very accurately surveyed known point, and another that's roving around making position measurements. The stationary reference receiver actually measures the errors because it compares its GPS position from the satellites with its known surveyed position. The difference is then used by the roving receiver to correct its measurements. You can correct your roving receiver's data by either post-processing it back in the office or by using a radio link to receive correction signals in real time while you are in the field. There are a number of sources from which differential corrections can be obtained. You can establish your own differential GPS base station or use the worldwide network of existing community base station services. In addition, by using either an integrated GPS radio beacon receiver or an integrated GPS satellite differential receiver, you can obtain real-time differential correction almost anywhere on Earth. Radio beacons were originally set up for maritime navigation in harbors and waterways. Well maintained and reliable, these beacons continually transmit free differential corrections for use by anyone with a radio beacon receiver. In areas where beacon coverage is not currently available, satellite differential providers now supply real-time differential correction for a service fee. Although it may sound complicated, GPS is simply the most accurate and reliable navigation system ever developed. Whether you're figuring out where things are or where you're going, GPS finally fulfills one of man's basic needs.